Hello everybody and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on the new ESDA course for round five of ESDA. We're sitting at the back of my ESDA E36 Next Level Racing, Mazda Racing E36 here. And we are going to be running full drift testing with this R5 and the R5 wheel. So we are going to be running it with the R5. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll find the description box below. Let's get to it. So we're going to go first do a quick drive through the course so we can see exactly what we are getting ourselves into with this track. So we have a really long run up, fourth, maybe fifth gear. We got a pretty quick initiation into a outer zone tightening up into a inner clip and then it looks like a nice big sweeper we're gonna probably try and stay out of that red i'm not sure to another outer zone to a nice wall right outer zone very uh treacherous if you hit that wall it looks like from that outer zone we're transitioning over to a quick outer zone to a inner clip and then that inner clip probably stretch out to the finish so definitely a very interesting course and it's going to be a very quick course very high speed and it's going to have to make sure that we are on point because your initiation will definitely tell the tale for the remainder of that course so we're going to try to find our way back to the start finish line not sure where it is but we're just going to rip it this way, see if we can find the start finish line, because that's something we need to definitely figure out. It is bumpy over here. Oh, it is all the way back this way. There's probably a cut through that section where we can cut through the pits and come through so we don't have to drive all the way around the course, because we would have to be driving all the way around the course in battles if we qualified in the battles, because you can't respawn to pits. So first run out we're gonna go full send and we will take a look at the replay cameras of some of these runs to make sure see where we're at on course we do have a basic tune on so we're gonna go full send yep that initiation is quite quite quick and uh, you can run really wide onto the grass too And then that is a quick slowdown section. Okay, so now that I kind of figured out where I need to be on course, we're gonna go and see if we can't get a full solid run in. That initiation sets you up for the whole course and going to that outer wall is definitely very, uh, very tricky. You do not want to hit that the wrong way. Fourth gear seems to be the gear we could run though. Bring it in on the inner clip. Float it a little wide on the inner clip. We didn't like that little hesitation I had to go there. And yep, there's the wall. Okay. So we floated wide on that first inner clip, which caused us to push out. So we need to make sure we get tight on that first inner clip. We need to maybe dial into front grip, but first two runs are just figuring out where we need to be. I don't want to be feathering the throttle through that section. I want to be kind of on throttle, full bore. Ooh, that wall. That wall is going to come out and bite a lot of people, and that threw me off for there. All right, so with that being said, we're going to try and get this better in here. Heavy angle on initiation, which pulls us tight in here. That was probably not the right line we need to be on, but... Kind of set us up for that. We definitely missed that zone, I can tell you that already. 
kind of a full pull. That initiation was probably where we want to be. So let's go take a look at that initiation real quick because I wanted to see if that is exactly kind of where we need to be at. Hard flick. And I think... Don't think we are... We're really close to the zone, but we're not in it. But it kind of put us in there. We had to feather out a little bit, and we did do a little dirt clip there. We need to draw a different uh, perspective line through that. So we need to draw a different line through the inner clip. Maybe slow down a little bit more so that we're not throwing ourselves so far out. Back up. All right. See what we can do. That's a huge slowdown zone, but the rest of the course was not too bad. That was probably one of the more better more better more better runs more better runs than we've had so far but like i said this is the first time on this track we are rocking the r5 so a little bit of adaptation for the smaller wheelbase but it does feel really good in this pro car full drift test is what we're doing right now I don't think they want us to be running on that inner zone right there. And that's just a hard angle up. But that wasn't too bad on that last section. It's definitely going to be a hard angle up in that section. So one more run, and then we're going to take a look at a, probably the replay if we do get a solid run here. Not what we wanted to do. Too much feather of throttle, not enough commitment. And that run's pretty much uh, not, not gonna work. We need to be fully committed into it, and we need to have full good commitment in our throttle in order to get a good score on the board for qualifying. If we throw a massive angle like that, that kind of sets us up for a really good line, though. This course is just going to be throwing some serious angle because those last two sections were actually quite good. Let's go take a look at that replay because... Yeah, it seems like we're just going to be having to run some high angle stuff. Massive angle, full lock, deep in the zone, which kind of set us up in a really good aspect for there. So yeah, we need to be throwing some high angle. We did get out into there, and then this is a quick flick high angle, but puts us kind of on the right line. So we need to throw way more angle than we were throwing. So we need to initiate harder, throw angle, kind of chuck it at the wind and hope it sticks. Definitely going to need to get sure we have a lot of front grip for this. Caution to the wind on this one. If it wasn't for the grass drop, but we managed to save the car. Nice and deep in that zone. This would be another kind of caution to the wind. <laughs> oh man, that is insanely amount of angle. Uh, that is borderline unchaseable with that transition going so hard and aggressive. That's almost a backwards entry. <laughs> we gotta not do that. We gotta hit that threshold without rotating too much.
I don't like that. Throw ourselves out. We don't want to angle up too much there. Okay, we can't angle up there. So we're getting the entry down. Now we got to put all the pieces together for the rest of the course. I feel like we've had good sections through all, but for first testing on this track and first runs and uh, shaking down the R5 in the pro car, quite happy. Grass drop, save the car though. Just save the car like it was qualifying. So I think that's going to do it here for this episode here on the set of course. First shakedown of the ESDA Pro Car for round five with the R5. So maybe this could be a good round. R5 with the, for round five? I mean, all signs are looking up. Definitely feeling very comfortable with the wheel. Just got to get our tune dialed in and get our entry and everything squared away. And we should have plenty of time to practice before qualifying so if you guys like this you guys want to keep seeing more make sure you follow me on all social media all of which found here for box below that's some grass and as always i thank you guys for coming back and watching i'm evil rabbit i'll see you guys on the track